What's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Down South Expeditions. Today we're going to be doing a full gear review of this brand new Smitty Built air compressor. This is the 5.6 CFM, so let's jump straight into it. Alright, so first up, take you guys in on the box right here. So this is the new Smitty Built product, or I don't think it's that new, but it's new to me. Um, show you what it comes all in it. Got the air compressor itself, the carrying case, the hose and the gauge, tire pressure gauge, the alligator clips for the battery because that's how you run this thing. I'll show you guys that in just a little bit. And then we have three additional needles and adapters for, you know, if you're just trying to ball in the middle of nowhere and your basketball is deflated, you can pump it up with this air compressor. <laughs> All right, so let's check this thing out. So first off, nice train in the background. Gotta love trains in the middle of nowhere. Um, so we're gonna start. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. All right, so we're gonna start off with the carrying case right here. It's pretty nice, it's got plenty of room for everything. It's not like a sleeping bag bag, you know, where it takes you about 30 minutes to get the sleeping bag into there. This thing has plenty of room for all the accessories and the hose, the machine itself, fit in there nice and easily. So, what comes with the package? You've got your, I believe this is a 10 foot long retractable hose, which is really nice, and by retractable, I mean, you know, it's curled like this which is good for you know space storage all that kind of stuff and it's not going to tangle quite as easily here's the compressor itself on the output end right here it has your connection that goes into the air hose itself so that's what you'll be able to connect to and then via the air hose to the tire pressure gauge which I'm going to try to figure out how I can change that around so it's adaptable to my ARB air compressor gauge which is a lot nicer than the one that this comes with so here before long I'm going to try to switch those fit fittings out so that way I can run the ARB. Basically what happened was something happened with the microphone that I was using we do have the new Shure MV88 but regardless the Smitty Built does come with two very nice alligator clips and what I'm talking about right here is trying to figure out how I'm going to use my nicer ARB digital air compressor gauge to convert it. That way it will hook up to the hose of the Smitty Built, which is something I'm going to be doing in a later video that will be coming soon. So that is the gauge, the pressure gauge that come with the unit itself. It's okay, it works if you don't have anything else, but like I said, I will be switching it out soon for a much nicer ARB digital gauge that will plug right into it. So here's a little close up of the machine. It looks really nice, very well built. There's no plastic on this thing. Even the uh, the base plate on it is all metal or, yeah, I think it's just regular metal, nothing crazy. Got a nice little shiny top on there. You've got your pressure release valve right there. If something were to go wrong, you don't want it to blow up. The on and off switch right here. That's what, That way you'll be able to power it only when you would like whenever it is connected to your battery. And then this is the circuit breaker, which hopefully you won't have to use too much. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how the Smitty Bill air compressor works, how fast it is. We're gonna do a few different tests and just to see how you know how quickly it is you can air up your tires from you know a very low or medium low PSI to ready to go on the asphalt. So let's try that out right now. So I've went ahead and popped the hood on the Ranger and we're gonna get this thing ready to roll. We're gonna get it connected to the battery and let's make sure it works first. Cut the zip tie on this bad boy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the positive side undone. And that one should work right. Let's see where the main, there it is. So we're gonna put it on that one right there. And then grab our negative alligator. And see, we're gonna put it right on that bolt. And that should do it. See if this thing powers up. Look at there. All right, so it definitely works. We got it connected. Now, let's see if it pumps up some tires. So 
So we finally got them down to 15 after about a full foot, feels like 20 minutes of sitting here. And we're gonna get the Schmitty Bill hooked up and see how long it takes to pump these babies back up to 36, 37 PSI, which is what I normally run on the road. All right, so now the air gauge is showing exactly 15 PSI, which is what it should be. Like I said, you do have to tighten that thing down really nice or really well to get the gauge to read correctly, but once it is on there, you've got a correct reading. So I'm gonna go ahead and crank up the truck just to make sure it's cool, you know, it's good and that I'm charging the battery as it's getting depleted by the air compressor. Not sure exactly how many amps and all that kind of stuff this thing draws, but uh, I'll definitely check the box, make sure I figured that out. So let's go ahead and do it. First, let's crank up the truck. <laughs> So the total time for the Schmitty Built to completely fill up the 33-1250 tire was 2 minutes and 40 seconds, which for that unit and its caliber, I think was pretty good. Um, it did it fairly quickly. I mean, 2.5 minutes times, or excuse me, almost 3 minutes for t 4 tires. You got about 12 minutes sitting around, which isn't too bad when you're going from 15 PSI all the way up to 37, which is what I typically run my tires at. So not too bad for the Smitty built. I think that was pretty good. And now it took about, I'd say two and a half minutes. I'll try to put a timer in there for you guys, but 39 PSI. So I'm a little, little bit out here. PSI. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. We're going to wrap it up here. Overview on the Smitty Built part number 2781. I think it's going to be great. It's never going to cost me any more money to, you know, obviously this thing's probably never going to have to have a repair unless they did something dumb like, you know, mess up the air hose or something like that. Um, I'll definitely try to figure out soon how you can connect your ARB PSI gauge to the Smitty Built, obviously. The attachments that it come with, they don't connect to uh, anything. It's nothing like I've ever seen before as far as air fittings go. Not huge air fittings, professional or anything like that. But I will try to figure out how to do that. Um, for the price of this thing, I believe this entire kit on Amazon is about $150 to $170 depending on you know what seller you get it from or what day or what sale you get it on. You might can even get it cheaper than that. And I know a lot of guys are moving over to the, you know, the CO2 tanks, the power tanks and stuff like that. If you ever look those up, they're expensive. A small power tank, you're going to be looking around $500, almost four times the price of this unit right here. Obviously, they're going to be a little bit faster. But, like I said, the power tanks, regardless of which one, if you build one on your own or if you buy one straight from the power tank business himself, I believe Smitty Built makes one themselves, but I've heard the quality and build of that one is not quite up to par with, with like some people would like um, but even at that you still have to have that thing filled up every you know every four or five trips depending on how much you air down and air up your tires so for the most part I think the Smitty Bill air compressor here is going to be absolutely awesome it might not be the fastest thing in the world but I mean who's in a huge hurry when you're in the middle of nowhere that's the best part is there is no hurry it's not like your everyday life um, and that's that's what it's all about so I appreciate it for watching guys Tune in soon. We're going to be heading up to Boone, North Carolina, a little bit above Pisgah. We might dip into the Tennessee line just a little bit, and we're going to do some overlanding up there. Uh, make sure you drop a like on this video. As you guys have noticed, there hasn't been much drone footage lately, and that is because we had um, on our Old House Gap Road video, well, the drone disconnected somewhere in the mountains, and that was the end of the drone. So drop a like on this video. That's the only way we're going to be able to afford a new drone. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Tune in next time to Down South Expeditions. Peace out.